Hey guys, it's Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing two different types of baby swings for you. So if you would like to hear those comparisons, please keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna compare two different swings for you guys. One of the swings is at my parents' house in Maryland, and the other swing is the swing that we have at our house that we've been using since birth. So when we did travel up to Maryland, Maverick, my baby, was so used to sleeping in a swing that it was like horrible putting him down without, you know, the motion of the swing. I know we got him hooked on it. It was a bad idea, but it is what it is. So we actually had to purchase another swing. So she has a swing at her house and we have a swing at our house. So I was actually able to use both swings. So I'm actually able to give you guys a realistic comparison. I'm going to show you guys what both of the swings look like. I'm going to give you details on both of the swings. And then at the end, I will tell you what swing I prefer best and why. So uh, let's just jump into the swings. Here they are. Okay, so this is the Fisher Price Snugga Monkey Cradle and Swing. I purchased this swing from Target. It comes in one color and the price is $159.99. It's battery operated or you can plug it into the wall. The weight limit on this swing is five pounds all the way up to 25 pounds. It has multiple swing speeds and musical tones, and it has a five-point harness, which is good because it goes over the baby's shoulder so that they are fully secured in the swing. The mobile at the top of the swing also spins and has a mirror-like effect to it, so the baby can catch a glimpse of their reflection when looking at the mobile. This swing swings from side to side, or you can change it and it can swing front to back, which is really awesome. So that is all for the Fisher Price Snugga Monkey Cradle and Swing. So next we have the Graco Simple Sway. It's in the color Abington. I think it comes in one other color and this swing is $74.99. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I also purchased this swing at Target. This swing is also battery operated or you can plug it into the wall. The weight limit on this swing is 5.5 pounds all the way up to 30 pounds. This swing has multiple swing speeds. It has music and as well as this one has nature sounds. This one also has a five point harness and this one has soothing vibrations. So that is all for the Graco Simple Sway. Again, stay tuned and I will tell you which swing I prefer best. Okay, so now that you have both of the details for both of the swings, here's my overall about the swings and which one I prefer better after using both of them. So overall, I genuinely like the Fisher Price Snugga Monkey Swing the best. And here's why I like that one best. I like that the actual body of the swing, like the, the frame of the swing is larger and it sits up higher off the ground. So when you're bending over to pick baby up and take them in and out of the swing, you don't have to bend down as far because the base is a lot bigger. I also like that if you 
think back to when I showed you the clips of the swing and my son in the swing, the actual part of the swing where you put the baby is a lot smaller, which is probably not the best if you have like a larger baby or if you wanna use it for like six months and up. Um, but when you do have that little baby, it does, it feels like they're being cuddled. So they, I like it because it's, it's just small and snug and I liked seeing him in it and like instantly he calmed down when we put him in it. The Graco one, the part where you put the baby is a lot larger, so they have a lot more room to move around. So it doesn't feel as snug and as comfy as them. Um, but you can use the Graco one, you know, if you have a larger baby or if you want to use it like five months and up. I also like that the Fisher Price Snugga Monkey one swings from front to back and it also swings side to side. So it gives your baby the option of what type of swing that they want to do. Unlike the Graco one, it strictly only swings side to side. In the Snugga Monkey one, I like that the overhead mobile actually moves so it spins around so the baby can follow the little monkeys that are attached to it and it also has like a mirror like um I guess a mirror like effect on it so when the baby looks up they can see a slight reflection of themselves. So my baby was like really enthralled with just the overall mobile itself because of the spinning feature and the mirror like effect. I will say the Graco one is not horrible guys. That's the one that we've had since birth. That was the original one that I put on my registry, the one that I got, the one that we had, the only one that we knew. So because it was the only one that I knew it was I mean, I liked it. And honestly, I still like it because that's the one that we have at our house. The other one is at my mom's house. So we're gonna use that one a lot less. So the Graco one is more cost effective. It's cheaper. So if you're on a budget, the Graco one will do. It's not horrible. And also for the Graco one, I can see my son fitting in it like much past four months. The Snuggle Monkey one, he's, if you looked back at the clips of him in it, he's, pretty tightly in there and he was only three months. So I can't see him going past, much past four months in the um, the Snugga Monkey one, but the Grey Coat one has so much more room for him. So I really think that, you know, if he's six or seven months and still wants to be, you know, rocked in a swing, I feel like we could still put him in it and he would fit perfectly. So I hope this video helped. I hope it gave you a different viewpoint on two different types of swings. If you like what you saw, I would love to have you a part of the family and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay tuned for all of my future videos. Here I make videos on baby products as well as motherhood products and a couple vlogs here and there. If you wanna stay further connected with me, follow me over on Instagram. I'll put my little Instagram handle somewhere up here on the screen. Don't forget to like, it helps my channel out so much. Leave a comment, let me know that you are watching. Okay, so before I end this video, I wanna tell you guys about my giveaway I'm doing. So I recently hit 100 subscribers, and I know that's a very small amount, relatively speaking, but it is a big accomplishment for me and I am so proud of myself and I just wanna give back and say thank you. So I will be gifting one person a Starbucks drink. If you know me, you know I love Starbucks, so I just wanna share the joy of my love for my favorite coffee spot. So there are three ways to enter the giveaway. I'm going to put details below, but I'm quickly gonna say it here. The first way, you have to subscribe to my channel, so you have to be a subscriber. You have to follow me on Instagram, and you have to leave a comment on one of my videos. Any one of my videos, just leave a comment. I hope you enter, I hope you win, and again, thank you so much for your support on this journey. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.